This is my world, incredibly diverse. These animals live and thrive in these small ecosystems. These environments take time and dedication to perfect. I don't do this because I want to, I do this because I have to. I'm Max, and today I invite you on a journey back to my roots, a tale of rediscovering a childhood hobby that has blossomed into a vibrant part of my life once again. At the ripe age of 35, I've rekindled my love for keeping reptiles, and not just any reptiles, but the rare and incredible geckos of New Zealand. There is not much selection when it comes to exotic pets in New Zealand. We live at the bottom of the world and we're extremely limited with choice. But you can be creative and still keep some incredible species. We have tree frogs, leopard geckos, some Australian skinks and dragons, and if you have a permit, and only with a permit, can you keep New Zealand geckos in captivity. Now, meet Godzilla, one of the most colourful geckos on the planet. This is the Northland Green Gecko, and only lives at the bottom of the world here in New Zealand. They're incredibly hardy and can thrive in really cold temperatures, considering reptiles are cold-blooded and rely on external temperatures to regulate their own. As a child, I was mesmerized by reptiles. My room was filmed to the brim with aquariums, terrariums, paludariums. I had turtles, fish, skinks, leopard geckos, newts, frogs, bugs, and the list goes on. Life, however, took its winding paths, and my interests shifted, of course. But the ember of my passion for reptiles never truly extinguished. Over my travels and journey through life, I still found myself spending most of my time at aquariums, ectotherm sections of wildlife parks, and always watching reptile content online. I just couldn't shake it. Now at 35, I find myself drawn back to this world. A place where the simple act of creating a habitat feels like crafting a real piece of art. These terrariums are not just enclosures, they are, they are living landscapes, each one telling a story of the miniature ecosystem within. It started with understanding the requirements of keeping these incredible animals in captivity once again. I had to upskill, I had to learn from the experts. The other thing you'll realize really, really quickly is, it's an expensive hobby. You need enclosures, you need lighting, you need heating, you need food, you need live insects, you need space, resources, racking, and also your time. Some of these animals live for up to 20 years. Now that is a commitment. A lot longer than some of my cars have lasted, that's for sure. It is currently winter here in New Zealand, so things have slowed down. The skinks are sleeping, and the geckos are not as active. Feeding time is always an exciting time, but in winter, only the frogs are eating, and the geckos on warmer days. Watching these little hunters in action is a reminder of the delicate balance of nature. Each meal is a dance of instinct and grace, a tiny reminder of the wild world right outside our doors. The geckos of New Zealand are particularly special. Their vibrant colours and unique markings make them incredibly rare. It shows you how beautiful flora and fauna is at the bottom of the world here in New Zealand. They also thrive in incredibly harsh climates, from humid areas of the North Island, coastal shrublands, to the alpine zones of the South Island. Capturing their beauty on camera is a challenge I gladly accept every day. They have a knack of turning every filming session into a tense and patience exercise, reminding that the best moments in life are often the unscripted ones. They are cryptic, they are careful, with some of my species only venturing and coming out at night. So this is my story. A tale of rediscovery and the joy of connecting with nature in its most intricate form. It's never too late to revisit the passions of our youth. And I thought exactly that. To find solace and inspiration in the hobbies that once brought us joy. This has brought happiness and fulfillment to my life, and I hope to inspire you to show you how amazing this hobby really is. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If my story resonates with you, that's awesome. I invite you to share your own journey below. I'd love to hear your stories with reptiles, amphibians, or any of your other awesome animals that you have. If you vibe with this, that's dope. Maybe subscribe for more narratives from my world of reptiles and amphibians and other dope critters. Till next time.